Hey guys, it's Danny. So the question today, what happens to an orchid if it survives crown rot? Now crown rot is a pretty deadly disease if you don't spot it in time especially, but sometimes you can actually stop it. And I do have a video on it, you can check it in an info card right here. But today I'm going to show you this Angraecum. This is the Angraecum magdalene and sadly it has suffered from crown rot due to all of the treatments and insecticides for spider mites. The crown is uh, gone. In this case I didn't use cinnamon because I simply could not reach with the cinnamon inside the crown. But I did pour hydrogen peroxide inside and after I let it fizz for a few minutes I tried to remove as much as possible and actually the infection stops. So what happens now to an orchid that has a destroyed crown? Crown, but it still has some roots, it still has viable leaves. Well, most probably what will happen is that the orchid will try to produce a basil cakey. And this is what's happening to my Angraecum. It is producing a basil cakey here. I'm gonna show it to you closer. And here he is. This is not a flower spike. I can already see the leaf trying to poke out. Now mind you, I'm only referring to monopodial orchids here, such as Angraecums, Vandas and Phalaenopsis and other orchids. Sympodial orchids will not produce cakeys, but they will produce new growths if something happens to one of the pseudobulbs. Depends what pseudobulb dies, but let's just refer to monopodial orchids here. So in most cases, if the axis remains intact and if the orchid still has some roots, it will try to produce a basil cakey, which in time will be the main plant. And this side, probably in time, it will die off. The leaves will still remain for a while probably, but the crown will never grow leaves again if it is completely destroyed. So what will happen is that this will take over its mother's place in time. This will take a long, long time depending on the orchid. With Angraecums, it will take a long time. With Phalaenopsis, not so much. You can have a blooming cakey in one year, actually. Might not be the best blooms, but it can bloom within a year. And if you have a basil cakey on your orchid, you can say that your orchid is saved. However, you will need to have quite a lot of patience before the orchid will start to look pretty again, will start to bloom normally again, and so on. I hope you don't get crown rush because it is one of the worst things you can have in an orchid. And the best thing to do is to try to avoid it. Don't let water accumulate in the crown in between the leaves. However, if you have an orchid which suffered from crown rot but you managed to save it, hold on to that orchid. It might take a while, but it might produce a basil cakey. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I hope this was useful. If you'd like to see other orchid videos from me, simply subscribe to my channel. I post on a daily basis. Feel free to leave me questions down below in a comment or suggestions for videos and I might try to answer in a video for you. And also, if you ever want to send me a letter, do so at the address you see on the screen or in the description below. If you click on the left side of your screen, you're gonna be directed to orchidnature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!